Imagine you're walking down the aisle of a grocery store and you come across a shelf of your favorite brand of potato chips. However, you notice that there are only a few bags left and a sign below them reads, limited time only while supplies last. You start to feel a sense of urgency to grab a bag before they're all gone. That feeling is an example of scarcity marketing in action. Marketing strategies can help advertising teams promote products more effectively, which can bring in more customers and increase sales. Some marketing strategies, like scarcity marketing, focus on how unique, hard to get, or expensive a product is in order to boost sales. If you want your marketing team to make more money, you might want to learn more about how scarcity marketing works. In this post, we'll talk about what scarcity marketing is, why it helps businesses, and what you can do to grow your business and sell more products. What is it that scarcity marketing does? Scarcity marketing is a way to get people to buy a product or take advantage of a deal before it ends. This is often done by timing sales and promotions, limiting the amount of inventory, or making seasonal or promotional goods that are only available for a limited time. This strategy is aimed at customers who are interested in products or deals that they might not be able to get if they run out. What makes companies use scarcity marketing? Businesses often use scarcity marketing to get people to buy quickly before a product runs out or a sale ends. Customers are more likely to buy something when they see that there aren't many left so they can get it before it's gone. As a marketer, you can get people to buy by stressing that products or deals are only available for a limited time. 10 Ways to Use Scarcity in Marketing Consider the following scarcity marketing strategies to help increase sales for your business. 1. Items that are almost out of stock One way for an online store to use scarcity marketing is to show that a product is almost sold out or has low stock. Customers will always know when there aren't many of a product left to buy if your company's website has software that shows real-time alerts of low stock. This can convince buyers who aren't sure if they want to buy the product to do so before it sells out. This is helpful for buyers who usually wait to buy and then forget about it as they go about their day. 2. Clock for the cart You can use cart timers to stop someone else from buying the items in a customer's shopping cart. This is helpful for things that are limited or in short supply because it forces shoppers to decide if they want to buy the item right away or put it in their cart and wait. Add a real-time cart timer to your company's website and send customers an email when the timer is about to run out. This will encourage customers to finish their purchases. 3. Prices go down if you sign up early. Early access discounts are usually limited time price cuts on pre-orders or special perks for loyal customers who want to get an item before it comes out. People are more likely to buy a product when it is on sale because they want to get it before the sale ends and other people get it. This can make the product run out of stock more quickly. Sending emails to your current customers with details about the sale and putting up a banner in your store or on your website with the date the discount ends are both good ways to use early access discounts. 4. Items with temporary bonuses Use this method to get customers to spend a certain amount of money when you have a lot of small items to sell or during the holidays. When a customer spends a certain amount at your store, they can get extra things for a limited time. A strategy like this helps you sell more goods by making use of cheap or overstocked items that don't hurt your business. This is especially helpful around the holidays, when people give each other gifts and might want to buy more things. 5. Delivery timers for the same day or the next day. Customers are often more likely to buy sooner if they know they can get their products the next day or the same day if they order them before a certain time. Even though many places that offer delivery also have minimums for free delivery, this can also encourage people to buy more at once. This method involves putting a timer on the checkout page of your website that tells customers how much longer they have to buy something for fast shipping. 6. Goods made in small numbers Another way to use scarcity to help your business could be to sell unique or limited edition items that are in high demand and have an immediate value because they are hard to get. You could also work with other businesses or well-known people to make unique products that appeal to a wide range of customers and grow your market. If you want to use special edition products to your advantage, 
You should get people excited about them before they come out so that as many people as possible will know about them when they do. 7. Agreements for each platform. Customers can only get deals on certain platforms, so these deals are called platform exclusive. For example, you might get a discount when you buy something through an app or only be able to get a sale on a website. These deals don't limit the number of products that can be bought. Instead, they focus on how long a discount will last and how customers can get it. A strategy like this could help your business get more users on different platforms. This is good for mobile apps because it gives users easy access to your store no matter where they are. 8. Buy timers or clocks that count down. Some businesses find it helpful when their products are up for auction or have a countdown until they can be bought. You can make a customer feel more rushed to buy something by putting a clock on your website that counts down the time until it's no longer for sale. As more people bid on auction items, the price will go up, giving you more money and making similar goods in the same market worth more. 9. Goods that come and go with the seasons. When you release new products or the same popular ones from the last season, selling limited season products can help your business make more money and get people excited at certain times of the year. Depending on the type of business you work for, you might sell seasonal goods like food and drink, clothes and accessories, or useful items to attract customers who need or want them at certain times of the year. Customers who like seasonal goods often tell their friends about them, which helps you get more customers. 10. Goods that are popular or in high demand. As another way to use scarcity marketing to boost sales, you could add features to online product descriptions that show how many buyers are interested in a product. This could mean showing how many people have looked at the item, put it in their shopping cart, or liked it. Customers might want the product more if they see that it's popular and might sell out soon, even though you might not be limiting the number of items any more than usual. Scarcity marketing strategies have both pros and cons. Look at these pros and cons of the strategy to help you understand how it might affect your business. Benefits Think about these benefits of scarcity marketing. Increases demand for certain products. Scarcity marketing often increases demand for your products by making them harder to get and more exclusive. When customers tell others about your limited edition items or discounts, it may help promote your products and get more potential customers interested by bringing attention to how unique the item or price is. Encourages customers to buy right away instead of waiting. Some customers like to think about a purchase for a long time before deciding, but when they do this, they often forget about the product. With scarcity marketing, you can make people feel like they need to buy the product or take advantage of the sale price right away. Increases the visibility of your business through referrals. People often tell their friends and family about great deals and products. Using scarcity strategies in advertising can help you get more customers because people like to share good news. Digital marketing strategies that use online signs of scarcity, like timers and low stock displays, could make this more likely to happen. Drawbacks Here are some bad things about using scarcity marketing. Moves attention away from the product. If countdowns and limited stock are too obvious, or if exclusivity is emphasized more than utility, urgent marketing can sometimes take attention away from the product. Trying to find a good balance between scarcity marketing and information about the quality, uses, and overall value of the product. Customers are under pressure. Scarcity marketing may get some people to buy, but it can also make others feel like they have to buy something or even stop them from shopping because of the possible problems. You can fix this by using scarcity tactics sparingly to make purchases more interesting and give customers more time to think about their options. Doesn't always get more people to buy. Even though marketing materials and scarcity tactics can help you get more customers if they are shared on social media or with friends, some customers may only buy once and then leave. To stop this, only give discounts to people who are already your customers, like people on your email list.